Hello children of Willingham Primary School. I am the Phonics Fairy. I have a story to tell. I'll make learning fun with a magic spell. I'll wave my magic pen and turn around and see who we become and discover a new sound. Today, let's hear our new sound. K. Say that with me. K. Fantastic. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phonics Fairy, we've already learnt the sound k. We've learnt k, 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 crunching caterpillar. And we learnt another sound k for the alternate grapheme, which is k, 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 ketchup. Well, today we are learning something very new. It's still the sound but it looks like this. Now, when we have two letters together that make one sound, we call it a digraph. Say digraph with me. Digraph. Well done. A digraph is when we have two letters, two graphemes that make one sound. And the sound is k. So when we put the crunching caterpillar and the k, k ketchup together it makes the k sound when we see them together it's called a digraph a digraph is two letters and one sound k. fantastic wow that's some really complicated learning we're doing today i would like you to tell a teddy the wall or the window what a digraph is so you can remember it in your brain First, I'm going to tell my teddy what a digraph is. Then you can tell your teddy what a digraph is. Teddy, a digraph is when we have two letters but they make one sound. Hmm? Two letters, one sound. Yes, teddy. So a digraph could be this. Now, it's your turn at home to find your teddy and tell them what a digraph is. The book that accompanies the digraph we're learning today is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. Now, these cows don't use a computer to type, they don't use their phone and they don't use an iPad. They use what we call a typewriter. Now, a typewriter looks a bit like this. And typewriters were around many, many years ago, before people had computers. And you would put a piece of paper into the machine, which is the typewriter, and you would click a button. And the button would be connected to some ink and a ribbon that would print words on a page. So people used to use typewriters to write letters, or to write books, or maybe to even make up their own song. And they would click the buttons with letters on, to make the words on a page. So that is what a typewriter is. And these cows, well, they use a typewriter in this story. Shall we read the story together? Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. There's a letter. Dear Farmer Brown, The bar barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, The Cows. So the cows use the typewriter to type a letter to the farmer and they want some electric blankets to keep them warm at night. It was bad enough that the cows have found the old typewriter in the barn but now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, 
said, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, cluck, moo. Click, cluck, moo. Click, cluck, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are too cold. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, cluck, moo, click, cluck, moo, click, cluck, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was neutral to the party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. So he, the duck is taking the letter from Farmer Brown to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered round the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided it was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come back with the typewriter. The next morning, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Clip. Clack, quack, click, clack, quack, clickety clack, quack. The end. Wow, Farmer Brown certainly had his work cut out. The cows that wanted electric blankets, and when he finally gave them to him, suddenly the ducks on his farm want a diving board in their pond. Wow, I really enjoyed that book. I hope you did too. The caption action for our diagraph is to do with the typewriter. So use your fingers and pretend you're typing on the typewriter and I want you to go k -k, click clack k -k, click clack. Your turn. Fingers, pretend you're typing a letter just like the cows did and I want you to say the grapheme twice, the phoneme twice. Ready? K -k, click clack k -k, click clack. Your turn. Fantastic! That's our caption action for the k sound. We've learnt the digraph, we've read the book, we've learnt the caption action. Let's learn how to write it as a sparkle mark. So we want our digraph to look like that. Simply you do a crunching caterpillar and next to it without a space we do our kicking k. and together it makes the k digraph. Here they are by themselves and when we bring them together it makes the k digraph. Let's read some words with the k digraph in. This is our first word. We have sound buttons for the graphemes and then, when it's a digraph, we draw a line underneath them together to make one sound. Let's read the first one. K, I, K, K, I, K, Kick. Ooh, this one has a capital letter at the start. That means this must be someone's name. Let's read this one together. M, I, K, M, I, K. Mick! Oh, I know someone called Mick. Let's read this word together. P -a -k. P -a -k. P 
pack, pack. And here is our last word. Sock, sock, sock. Wow. See, my magic pen is a bit like your magic finger. When we click the sound buttons, we can read the word. Sock, sock. If you notice, in all of these words, the k digraph is usually always at the end of a word. It's at the end in this one. It's at the end of that word. It's at the end of that name. And it's at the end of that word too. So if you're ever doing any writing and the k sound is at the end of your word, we always use the digraph k. Some really super learning going on today, especially because we've learned a brand new thing which is called a digraph. A digraph is two letters that make one sound. I wonder if there's an adult at home who you could really impress and tell them what a digraph is. I think it would blow their socks off because your brain is getting so big with all your phonics knowledge. Keep up the good work. I'll see you soon.